finally made it. We're about to head to the house. You guys come all the way here? So this is one of our favorite places to eat. It's called Chicken Chicken. And it is some good chicken. We have made it, finally. Finally made it. We were stuck in the airport for like three hours in customs. There was like five planes that came in at the same time, but we're here. Time to relax. We are going lobster diving tomorrow morning, and then uh, probably grab a few comp too. Come back to the house, cook it up for y'all. But we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the day, so we'll see y'all in the morning. Well, good morning. We are headed out. We're going to meet our buddy Tony. Uh, he's got a boat down here, so he's got a few holes with some lobster in them. Good morning. Good morning. How we feeling this morning? Captain Tony. Fine. Fine. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I'll be Probably quarter minutes too short. Sweet. Well, a limit ten per boat. So this is a comp. This is what they swim with. This little ball. Right here, a lot of people make necklaces and stuff out of them, but we're uh, getting a pile together right here. We'll make conks of each day. You cut it up really thin, and add lemon juice, lime juice, bell peppers, oyster shear, ketchup, onion, bell pepper. It's good. We're gonna cook some up, or we're gonna make some up here in a minute and uh, show you how we do it. Ah, yeah! Uh, so, all the man got him a big old lobster. Unfortunately, it's a female and she's got she's full of bags. So, I'll go with another. But turn it loose and keep looking for more. Alright, so this is Stingray City. Uh, we come here every year. It's just a big sandbar that fishermen used to come clean all their fish at. And Stingrays uh, came here to feed every day when the fishermen would. Uh, clean all their fish so it's turned into like a tourism place where people come and feed the stingrays so we're gonna get in and feed some
Pulse squid. I'm gonna catch them for you and show you what it looks like. What they look like up close. I want to get a big one. I don't like the little one. <laughs> Pretty safe to hold. Uh, they're super calm because everybody. I don't end up like my cock and arrow. I think he just for fear and had to go to the hospital because they stepped on one or something. this but my dad just cleaned one I'm gonna clean this one so you go down there's like rings on these and you go down the third ring you're basically just cutting the muscle off the shell to where he'll pull out Empty shell. That's all the meat you clean up. Tony's over here. That, this is what it looks like after you take all the meat off of it. Cut that claw off. Cut all this stuff off, and then you slice that up real thin for the. All right, guys. This is the thistle that comes out of the conch. Uh, Canadians eat it. They say it's protein. I'm gonna eat half, and I'm gonna give the other half to Heath because he never tried it. <laughs> I gotta that, eat it. The spirit of the conch, it's an aphrodisiac, it's like the Cayman Viagra. <laughs> it's like nothing, it tastes like Salty. a hard gummy bear. Yeah, it's just kind of salt. You want to take all that meat, all that skin off of it, um, to where it's just white meat. Out like that. You want to rub all that slime, make sure you get all the slime off of it. And this is what we take in, uh, this is what we take and slice up really thin. And uh, that's the part that you eat. So what we're doing here is just taking the, the cleaned conch and we're mincing up this this muscle. It's really good, uh, good white meat. It's kind of like um, calamari. And kind of do it in bite-sized pieces. This is a lime juice bath here. So what happens is the acid, the acidity in the uh, lime actually cooks the meat. So we'll leave it in the meat, the uh, meat in the lime juice for a couple hours, let it kind of cook in, and then we'll, we'll add, drain off the lime juice, and then we'll add some more ingredients, mix it all up, and we'll enjoy it. It's great, great conch uh, ceviche. I'm gonna cut these up as thin as possible, and then uh, makes it a lot, a lot easier to eat it. Sit in this lime, citrus, citrus acid, citrus, citrus juice, and uh, we're here at Rum Point, a place called Rum Point. So we're gonna go eat lunch and then come back and uh, put everything else in here and have it ready to go. Eat good. 
Barcelona já que é chegado aqui no Barcelona. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they're doggy paddling because yeah. they yeah, well, Judd, my toes about to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Judd got stung by something and I got stung by something on the side of my foot and it burns. He's doggy paddling in like three and a half foot of water. <laughs> the old C sharp. Tony, how'd you get that name? Because I'm a nerd. What does it mean? The computer programming language that I code in is C-sharp. It's spelled differently, obviously, but uh, so it's kind of a play on words being C-sharp, the computer language I use, and so made the boat C-sharp just felt a bit different. You can see it. That little spot right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put in the comments if you think we should pee on our feet to get this <laughs> thing to go away. Well, look, in between the two toes. Comments, just probably pee on it just to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Picks up this uh, conch uh, ceviche. We drained all the lime juice off of it. Put some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of bell pepper here. Onion. Another popular spice down here is called uh, pica pepper. So it's kind of a hot, hot, spicy sauce. It's real popular in Jamaica. You see, that Jamaica is only about 90 miles from here. They, they use a lot of it too. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit. Keith pulled up this uh, King Conk and it uh, it's dead. It had like five centipedes. centipedes that crawled out of it. So we're going to try to get the meat out of it and take it home because that's really pretty show. So this is the end result of conch. One, just one way. It is uh, chopped up into little pieces and it's got what? So we soaked it in lime and lemon juice for 30 or 45 minutes and then added ketchup, Worcestershire, pick of pepper sauce, onions, bell pepper. Onions, bell pepper. And salt and pepper. And that's it. Can't get it on there. Ooh, that is all sauce. All right. You already tried it? Delicious. Eat good. <laughs> yeah, Tony? Yeah, man. We'll catch you next time. We'll, yep. we'll, we'll see you before you leave. Yep. See, see you, dude. Thank you. Bye, you might want to come. Bye, Peggy. Bye. Thank you again. Back to the house. We had an awesome day today. Uh, we ended up with our limit of conch and we caught three lobsters but two of them were too small and one was a female with eggs. You are allowed to keep lobsters here that have eggs but um, there's a lot of poaching that goes on on this island. A lot of the, a lot of the locals fish for um, everything year round even when you're not supposed to so. So I'll just take it, cut them pretty much as pretty thin and then uh, my dad's over there you just take it and tenderize it into strips and then we batter it and fry it little panko breadcrumbs uh, take this conk tenderize it real good put it in the egg wash uh, 
get that in there. And then you just want to bread it. All this is is panko bread crumbs and uh, seasoning. It was like sitting on top of something. Head over to the grease. Eat good. <laughs> she might be a little hot. Yeah. Let's test her out. If you do it, oh, like that's money. Get a close up of that. Yeah, Got some real mayonnaise, but this will do. Mayonnaise, wasabi paste. Yeah, it's good. Mix it up. That is. My sister's very loud. Mix it up. <laughs> Mix it up and <laughs> use it as a dipping sauce. Because it is cow bread. A little bit of that. Get a little bit of that. This is uh, Gabe Arrington special from Florida. But he puts ginger juice in it. Get the finger in that and try. No, I'll try it. But I'm a big fan of wasabi. Yeah, but it's good with fried fish. What do you think? <laughs> he doesn't like anything. He's the one who uh, who had the worst comment about the bobcat too. So he just. I said it was. Good for what it was. Y'all like it? I guess. Everybody's eating it. Yeah. You like it? Good. Awesome. Super good. Sweet. And that's gonna wrap it up guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. I'm gonna be here for a full another week. So we got a lot of cool videos coming your way. See ya.